We're very excited here at Gallery 7 to be presenting Schoolhouse. It's written by Leanna Brody. It's a, an inspiring and heartwarming Canadian play set in the late 1930s in rural Canada in a one-room schoolhouse. I think it celebrates those teachers who've had a positive impact in our life, uh, as well as seeing the best in others. I've become a fan of Leanna Brody because I think she deals with some pretty tough issues, uh, but does so with a lot of grace and respect for the characters regardless of what uh, side of the issue they come on. I think the themes of hope and compassion really resonate with me because there have been so many times in my life personally where I have experienced maybe hopeless feelings or feelings of not being accepted and seeing the compassion of others has really inspired me when I'm looking at this script. It is full of funny moments, compassionate moments, heartfelt moments, but it also has very deep tones to it. My character is the teacher in the schoolhouse. Um, she's very young, she's 18, fresh out of school, about six months out of school, and this is her dream job. There was bullying, there was kids who were struggling, there are uh, the smart overachievers who have so much brains they don't know what to do with them. A lot of things are, are so similar to nowadays. I have other family members who are heavily involved in Gallery 7 as well and we're doing it because we love it. She thinks she knows so much and then she hits these walls and is like, I know nothing. I play Ewart and he is a 14 year old uh, kid who always has the bad rap. He's the kid that Everybody always thinks the worst of him. He came from Juvie, well, it's called Battenville School for Boys, and everybody just labels him like that. It's a show about real life. It's a show about compassion. It's a show that touches the heart. I've invited my mentors and people who have been so instrumental in creating who I am because that's what the show is. Now, Evie and Melita are polar opposites. Evie doesn't actually love being a teacher. I think she, she wasn't sure what she was expecting when she got into the profession, and she's not enjoying it. It's interesting to see Evie go through the process of, of having such a negative opinion about something and then having one or two small situations in her life really shape a change in her perspective. And he believes that military order is what establishes order. And these little tiny, uh, just out of university school teachers, often female, don't have the kind of iron fist that's needed. So he acts as superintendent, as principal, if you will. It's, it's all around you know, who's in and who's not, and who's accepted and who's not, which I think in the period it's set was critical, but really is a universal theme that's across time. Uh, it runs April 8th and 9th, and then the 13th to the 16th here at the Abbotsford Art Centre, and you can get tickets and more information on our website at www.gallery7theatre.com.